Christy Bryan and Susan Hammonds of the Best of Austin Living Team at Keller Williams Realty. We are showing you neighborhoods around Austin. This is our Exploring Austin series. We are showing you Circle C. It's in Southwest Austin. We have the Circle C um, different neighborhoods that we're going to show you. Circle C homes started to be built in the 80s and there's still homes being built today in Circle C. So many amenities in Circle C including the public golf course, the Gray Rock public golf course also it has a tennis club and then um, four pools. They also have a new elementary, Bear Creek Elementary. So we're coming up here to the Avanya neighborhood which is part of Circle C and we're going to take a drive through. These are some of the newer homes in Circle C. As you can see maintaining green space parkland is really important in our southwest neighborhoods. There is a new elementary serving Circle C Bear Creek which is located here in the Avanya neighborhood. There's also a pool here in Avanya for Circle C residents. There are four neighborhood pools, one of them being here in Avanya. And the home prices in Avanya are, there are a few that are still in the 400s, but mostly 500,000 and up. There are custom homes on bigger lots. If it wasn't so hot, you would see lots of people out walking, biking. Today is one of the How hottest. How hot is it? How hot is it? Tell me, Susan. Well, it's uh, only 91 by my car thermometer, but it's supposed to get up to in the hundreds today. It's one of the hottest days we've had all year. Thankfully, it's actually been a lot cooler than it's been normally. Here is the Ivanya Swim Center. closed due to COVID. And there's a playscape. If you're looking for amenities, Circle C has so many amenities. You've got the four pools, you've got four different elementary schools that service the neighborhood. You've got Bear Creek Elementary, Kiker Elementary, Mills Elementary and Clayton Elementary and then Gorisky Middle School and Bowie High School. These are some of the newer homes in Circle C. Again, we are in the Avanya neighborhood. Susan is my mom. We're a team. We're the best of Austin living team. team. Neighborhood of Gray Rock. You can see the new bike trail, hike and bike trail that is here. It was with the development of 45 that goes on the back side of this neighborhood. This is Gray Rock Ridge. And if it sounds familiar, yes, the public golf course is also called Gray Rock. So coming into Gray Rock, these are also some of the newer homes in Circle C. Circle C homes started being built in the 1980s. So these homes have all been built within the last um, pretty much uh, 10 years. Um, most of them much more recent than that. So as we come into Gray Rock, you'll see that it's the typical Texas limestone type build of home. Again, for the Circle C neighborhood, you've got four pools that you have access to. There are four elementary schools. There's the new elementary school in Avanya, which is opening this fall, Bear Creek Elementary. There's Kiker, Clayton, and Mills Elementary Schools, Gorisky Middle School, and Bowie High School. Here 
there's the swim center located in Gray Rock. So how much are the homes going for in here, Christy? Um, some are in the 400s. These are mostly in the $500,000 range and up. There are about 400 homes in Gray Rock and they are still building if you're looking for a new home built. We do have the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center in this neighborhood. It's a very famous, amazing place to go to see all the native Texas flowers. We also have one of Austin's only, I think it is the only, Bella Way. It is located in this neighborhood as well. So if you're an avid biker, this is an awesome neighborhood to live in. So um, some folks call this Wildflower Park or call it La Crosse. It is also one of the newer home developments in Circle C. The homes inside of uh, Wildflower Park are on a little bit smaller lots than some of the Circle C newer neighborhoods. You have a mix of the Texas limestone and the brick, although it is more brick homes in this neighborhood than the Texas limestone. You have a mix of single story and two story. There do, however, there are more single stories within this neighborhood than most of Circle C. Of the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center. Tell me about the Wildflower Center, Susan. Uh, well, it's just a great example of all the natural plants that we have here in Texas, and um, of course was um, the brainchild of Lady Bird Johnson, and it carries on her legacy of uh, keeping Texas and, and the U.S. actually beautiful. We're going to go into the neighborhood of On the Park here in Circle C. These are some of the larger homes, again, they were also built in the 90s on the park. Beautiful homes. Many of these have three car garages, four side brick, larger lots here on, on the park. These homes range from 600,000 up, 600, 700, 800,000. The landscaping throughout Circle C is just uh, amazing, I think. It's one of the things that makes it a very attractive neighborhood. Do you like all the green space in here, Susan? I do, and, and all the flowers and, and Texas plants. inside on the park are at least 0.2 acres. There are a couple of homes that are on 0.5 acres. Again, mostly, I think actually these are all four-sided brick in here. Larger homes, more custom homes on the park. As we come out of on the park, You'll see that there is Kiker Elementary School, which is just across the street. And we're also very near one of the main Circle C swim centers that's here at La Crosse and Escarpment. So coming down, you're going to see Kiker Elementary here on the left side. We still have homes on the right. There is Kiker. And then just on the other side of Kiker is the swim center. We also have the Child Development Center that's over here, the CDC Child Development Center for Circle C. Circle C Ranch. You can go to circlecranch.com for more information about Circle C. 
excuse me, circlecranch.info. Actually, I think it's also circlecranch.com. I love all of the green space in Circle C. There are over 500 acres of parkland within Circle C. It has many different types of neighborhoods since it st was started um, being built in the 80s. We're taking you into Vintage Place. This is a very popular area with uh, some people if you like a more quaint, I would say, um, cottage style home. It's a vintage place. We can drive by the house that my clients just closed on. Let's take a right here. And we will take a left on Prescott. These are the hardy plank style homes as opposed to brick or Texas limestone. My clients will be moving in this week. Yay! So exciting. Let's go see a little bit more of Circle C. Here is one of the larger park areas within Circle C. We're at Escarpment and Slaughter. We've seen this from various angles already today, driving through. There's a very large soccer field in here. There are so many different neighborhoods within Circle C since it started being built in the 80s. There are over 6,000 homes, probably closer to 7,000 now. We haven't gone into any of the gated communities today. There are quite a few gated areas. They also are on the golf course, the Gray Rock Public Golf Course. Um, right now, we're gonna go into one of the older sections the homes were built in the 80s, the 90s. Some have been remodeled, some have not been remodeled. So just know that based upon the pricing, you can generally tell well, obviously also the photos, whether something has been remodeled or not. But not all of the homes in Circle C have been remodeled at this point if they were built in the 80s and 90s. Um, the homes that we're gonna drive by right now are mostly brick, um, very little Texas limestone in this area. We're turning off of Escarpment onto South Bay. You want a community with a lot of mature trees. Circle C is the place to be. Most of the homes in here were built in the 90s. We're gonna finish up our tour through Circle C today. We're on Martin Lane. We have a client who's closing here in a week. It's a single story and it is under contract for 525. Whatever your real estate needs are, the Best of Austin Living team at Keller Williams can help you out in the Austin area. See the separate video for the amenities around the Circle C and Meridian neighborhoods. Contact Christy and Susan today with Best of Austin Living at Keller Williams Realty at 512-994-9206 or bestofaustinliving.com.